Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D, POV, and we are back with another video. Now, today, I want to uh, play this clip of Kwame Brown reacting to Crawford just beating the brakes out of Eric Spence. Uh, y'all know my opinion of it. I was going for Eric Spence, Errol Spence, uh, you know what I mean? I'm from Houston, he from Dallas, so we from Texas, so I'm riding with the home team. But you gotta give props when the props are due, man. Uh, Crawford, Crawford, he was just a whole, he just on a whole nother level, man. He just on a whole no, he, he's on a whole nother level and he beat the brakes. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even close, man. And let's hear what KB has to say. Now, this is from his 2.0 channel. Uh, he had a panel with some other people on there and they had a discussion about the fight. So let's hear what they had to say. That wanted, not you, anybody else that want that smoke. KB, I, you know I need that somebody cash out. Uh, somebody got their uh, joint on in the background, your YouTube on in the background. Yeah, it might be yours though, so you gotta turn your YouTube off. My YouTube off, is it still sounding like that? I might need to I come out. Good now. No, go ahead. It's good now. Okay. Yeah, you know I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to uh, pay. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. I'm trying to pin the damn link and it won't pin. Me. Oh no! Nah, you know I just gotta pay my respects to the bet I lost last night. I just need to. Can somebody just drop it. Hey, somebody drop the cash app in the uh in the chat so I can take care of my oh, bet. Yeah, hey, will. I will hit the cash app. Hit the cash app. Yeah, I, I, I lost money in that fence fight too. Yeah, cause now I was playing y'all. That before the bet, but my brother old double because he already showed. And you know, KB, uh, what I did, I faded the bet. I took Crawford to stop him between round seven and twelve, so I came up. So it was a good. It was I good. Did. <laughs> Yo, did you see him? Did you see him drop that joker with a jab? Yeah, AKB. Hey, that's man. what I said. That's what I said. That jab worked so so quickly. The jab dropped him. I've never seen Smith be dropped by jab ever. Well, Crawford, you got a bad boy. Yeah, Crawford, yeah, he, he bad. And KB, did you see the footwork the boy was putting on last night? That's just what I was saying. That footwork, that footwork was, I mean, This nigga throwing his ass off. That's what I was saying. <laughs> you always say it's something. No, because I'll be, no, be on boxing channels. Like, I called it. Like, I called it. I was like, that footwork. I look at footwork. No, I don't no, look at just the box. When he switched to southpaw, he turned into something else because you thinking you're getting hit by a regular jab and you're not. His strong hand is, is his right hand. His strong hand is his right hand. So you getting hit with his dominant hand, so it's stronger than a normal jab. And so Crawford is coming. I mean, Smith's coming in for the body shot, so he leaned right into his power hand. Facts, KB. I agree with you on that, but like the power jab, when, when you throw in a power jab, you got to twist it. He was twisted and standing right in front of Smith. He didn't move, yeah. so he couldn't cut yeah. the ring off. So, so Terrence right. Crawford literally stayed right in front of his face, knowing the power that Smith had, and still was not even phased by it. Took the body shot. He took a uh, push, he took a push by him, and he obviously took some steam out of him with that second round knockout. Exactly. He got hit with a left. He got hit, and he was like, "Oh shit!" He stopped backing up. I was like, like, Damn. I, told him, I, I was looking at the TV like, "Nigga, nigga, back up, move around." I thought he was gonna move around. He stayed right in front of him. And if you heard what um, if you heard what um, Spence trainer said, they was they was telling him. One of the um, reporters said, "Yo, he was just standing right there, flat footed, punching." And then when he was uh, shadow boxing and sparring and media workout, it was like he, he didn't do a lot of moving around. He was like, "Well, they don't normally do what they're gonna do in a fight," but that's exactly what he did. He stood right in front of him, toe to toe. Now I think another thing that happened, and you're right about that, KB. But I think another thing that happened in that fight that, that people who know boxing can see is that whenever <laughs> Smith. I'm just saying, whatever Smith like, came. I'm saying, KB, I'm one of them dog niggas. I'm trying to tell you. I seen, I seen Bud Crawford. I said, this nigga done been, this brother done been shot in the head. He done been fighting the streets. His mama done whipped him every day. This joker like to fight. He angry all the time. I said, this brother gonna win. This, yeah, this, but the thing about, the thing about the, the Terrence Crawford is, is that it's not just footwork. He's nasty when it comes to, he can see the shots coming and he makes a move. Cause you, you, did you notice the left hook that was connected against Smith? Every time he ducked his head in, everything he did, he was getting hit. I, I said it on the panel yesterday. Counter puncher, he's deadly, yep. and that's what and he and he utilized that skill last night. Yep. 
my, bro, my, my homeboy mad as hell at me because he a boxer. And I told him, I said, man, I don't got nothing against Spence. I said, but he had that accident. Two of them. I said, he's not the same fighter. I said, I can hear it in the speech. He's a little bit slower. He don't have no defense. He was like, you crazy. He walked through this person. He beat Danny Garcia. I said, Danny Garcia was a smaller fighter. He didn't get him out of there. But yeah, but Spence, got, Spence, Spence uh, broke the orbital bone on you guys, though. And, and you guys is a bigger fighter. I just think... That, so you don't think Crawford would have beat you guys? I think he would have beat you guys. I, I don't think nobody beat Terrence Crawford. That's why he's going to have to move up to 157. And he's going to have to terrorize that division. No, they got to get they got to run no. that back so he can whoop Bud again. And then they got to let that young boy, uh, uh, Boots Enos, get a chance at Bud. I got to see that fight. I want to see like Boots Enos and Bud before they go. Hey, KB, then, I, I don't... Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. I, I was going to say, I don't like the rematch, KB. It, I, I don't think either. Stop. Me they, either. They're going to force him to do it. It's too much money in it. He got to take that rematch. And then Crawford got all the cars because they're going to want him to move up to 154 because it takes too much out of Spence for him to get to 147. So Crawford going to ask for all kind of money and he going to finally get his due. It's just due. And I think he's going to whip him worse at 154. As a matter of fact, KB, oh, I want you to put this. I'm going to let you get the content on. Did you see what uh, Caleb Plant slapped uh, Jamal Charlo? All right, so there we go right there, man. That's uh, Kwame Brown giving his input, responding to uh, Crawford just dominating. And dominating he did. Now, do I want to see the matchup, the, the rematch? Absolutely not. Uh... It wasn't even close. It wasn't even close for them to even do a rematch. Like, this was so dominating. I don't even think it's going to draw the same attention that it did the first time. If this was a closer fight, I feel like it had potential to, you know, run it back. But, nah, I'm good. Crawford took care of business. Crawford took care of business. So other than that, man, it's your boy DMD. Y'all leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm up out of here, y'all. Peace.